What's going on YouTube? I'm your host Joss. Welcome back to Top 10 Beyond the Screen. Make sure you follow the BTS team on social media. All of our links are down below. You can find me on Instagram as well. Come say hi. Don't be shy. Also, stick around to the end of this video because that is where all the magic happens, aka responding to some of your comments. As for today's list, we are talking all about transformations. That can mean a lot of things. Good transformations, not so good transformations, transformations by choice, or maybe even for a job. There is really too many to name. So how about I name 10 of them with today's list of top 10 biggest celebrity transformations that you won't believe. Starting off our list at number 10 is Matthew McConaughey. His transformation happened when he took on his role as Ron Mudroof in the movie Dallas Buyers Club. The drama history movie came out back in 2014 and had McConaughey playing a Texan horse rider who was diagnosed with HIV and given 30 days to live. After being nominated an Oscar for his incredible performance, he opened up about the side effects he had after the drastic weight loss he did for the role. He shed a total of 47 pounds, which is a lot when you're not a big guy to begin with. His weight loss transformation alone had him looking completely different. He confessed that he chewed a lot of ice on set while filming so that he could remain that thin throughout the movie. The ice just kind of acted like a distraction to keep him from eating real food. He lost 47 pounds in just four months and says that by the end of filming, his body was basically withering away. He says he lost energy from the neck down, but found he had a lot of energy neck up, saying that he only needed three hours of sleep or less a day. He was very alert, almost hyper, he said, but his body itself had no energy at all, as you can imagine. You can only imagine what a few hours of sleep a night and minimal calories will do to one's body. McConaughey says he wanted to portray his character in the most realistic way possible and that he's very proud of his performance regardless of the side effects. But don't worry, he is looking back to normal. He went to a nutritionist afterwards to help with his recovery. Next up at number 9 is Farrah Abraham. She was cast on MTV show 16 and Pregnant when she was just that, 16 and Pregnant. And then she went on to be one of the OGs on the show Teen Mom. She was in the spotlight for years with her little daughter Sophia, which is why fans were shocked when her image changed so drastically. In 2010, she had her first big surgery done when she had breast implants. It was only noticeable because she was always a very petite girl, so they definitely stuck out on her tiny little frame. Like there was no hiding. In 2012, she got more plastic surgery done, but this time on her face, she got a rhinoplasty and chin implant, which reports say cost $16,000. 2013, though, was the year when her image and also her reputation began to change as she got involved in the porn industry, promoting her adult film at the Gentleman's Club in Las Vegas, and also a personal sex tape leaked onto the internet. She also got involved in the sex toy industry where she created her very own line, Mom of the Year Award, obviously causing a lot of controversy since she has a young daughter and starred on the show Teen Mom. In 2015, the star went to get more permanent lip fillers done and she had an allergic reaction, which left her looking like Donald Duck. No offense, she posted the pictures, they were huge. Since then, she has had countless amount of procedures done. Her her breasts again, her lips again, other face injections, bum implants, and bum fillers. She actually goes on Instagram live when she gets her bum done and she has her little daughter Sophia in the room. I've been on them, these are facts. She looks like a completely different person than her before pictures and bless her daughter's soul, I just hope she realizes that she doesn't have to go through what her mom did. For the record, I did not get bum fillers. When I said I was on it, I meant I was on Farrah's live streams. Swiping the number eight spot is Jared Leto. He has lost significant weight for roles in some of his movies before, such as his role in the Dallas Buyers Club, but it was gaining weight for his role in chapter 27 that really did a number on the actor. He gained a total of 67 pounds, which made him look hardly recognizable. The movie came out in 2007 where Leto took on the role of Mark Chaplin, the man who shot and killed John Lennon. Leto admitted in interviews that he gained so much weight so quickly that he actually suffered from gout. Gout is a form of arthritis caused by excess uric acid in the bloodstream. The more fat, the more uric acid. Leto told LA Times, I quote, Towards the end of the shoot, one of the glaring issues was the pain I had in my feet. I had a wheelchair because it was so painful. My body was in shock from the amount of weight I gained. It took about a year to get back to the place that I felt semi-normal. I don't know if I'll ever be back to the place I was physically. Talk about having some serious dedication to your craft. People raved about his performance though, so I guess it was all worth it. In at number 7 is James Charles. At just 17 years old, he made history in 2016 for becoming the first male ambassador for CoverGirl. He started out as just a regular kid posting videos on YouTube, where he performed funny little skits with his friends in hopes of going viral one day. But then his life changed when he started to put on makeup, and he was soon being recognized for his makeup skills and talent. His life changed 
changed when he got the call to be the new face of CoverGirl after his Instagram pictures got noticed. He'd only been posting his makeup looks on Instagram for a year and he got a call one morning after a set of his pictures went viral. He soon appeared on Ellen explaining that he was only 12 years old when he came out as gay to his parents who have been incredibly supportive about it. He quickly rose to fame and is now one of the world's biggest beauty YouTubers which makes it hard to hide the drastic transformation he's had. However, he doesn't really try to hide it. He actually loves looking back at old pictures and seeing how far he has come and how different he looks. He tweeted a before and after picture and captioned it, thank god for braces, scissors, better taste in clothing, lip filler, makeup and a little face tune. He admits to having lip fillers but is often accused of having butt fillers and other work done too which he denies. After posting pictures of himself at Coachella 2019, fans started to question whether he had butt implants or not. He denies it of course but with or without implants his transformation has been huge. Almost as big as his butt. Coming in at number six is Kylie Jenner. Shocker. It's hard to remember what she looked like before because her transformation came at such a young age that I almost can't picture her without plastic surgery. She is the world's youngest self made billionaire with one of the biggest reality families in the world, so it's not shocking that she's had some work done. She used to be a shy teenager when we first met her on the reality show, keeping up with the Kardashians. The biggest change on her, as everyone knows, has been her lips. Over time, we have watched them get bigger and bigger to a point where people started to create the Kylie lip challenge online. People would use a cup to suction their lips to leave them looking all swollen and puffy. I don't know the point of it. No, I never did it. Weird. At first she denied the claims and said she uses makeup to make them appear bigger, but then she finally admitted to getting lip fillers, which we obviously already knew. Her lips aren't the only thing that have gotten bigger though. We don't want to be creepy, but we can't help but notice her big butt and her big boobs, especially for a soon to be 22 year old. She denies having any plastic surgery done, but celebrity dermatologist Dr. Tabsum says, she has had her hips and butt done for sure. She was also seen promoting butt and breast plumping products on her Instagram back in 2015. As for her tiny little waist, she uses a waist trainer, which she has no problem flaunting about online. Halfway through the list at number five is Jeffree Star. He is another famous YouTuber that is among the most popular beauty gurus in the world. He's a talented makeup artist, a YouTube personality, a model, a musician, and is also famous for his cosmetic line called Jeffree Star Cosmetics. He says that makeup all began in high school because his mom allowed him to to wear it. After high school, he moved to LA and started to book any music, makeup, and modeling jobs that he could get his hands on. He says he used to use fake IDs and dress in mini skirts and heels. Jeffrey often gets asked if he is transgendered because he dresses like a girl and is probably more feminine than me, to be honest. However, I love him. He does not call himself a woman or transgender and explain that he is just simply gay. When it comes to his transformation in appearance, he is not ashamed to admit that he has gone under the knife. He even filmed one of his lip procedures and posted it to his YouTube channel. It's pretty gory, but if you want, you can go watch it. People from his hometown in Orange County probably wouldn't even recognize him now if he wasn't in the spotlight that he is. He honestly looks completely different. All right, guys, we are number four with Heidi Montag. She became famous from the MTV reality show called The Hills. Since the show was a reality-based show, Heidi only played herself, which was an adorable, bubbly, and very beautiful girl. But a few seasons into the series, the young star became famous for her insane amount of plastic surgery more than anything. She shocked the world when she had 10 plastic plastic surgeries done in just 24 hours. Not procedures, surgeries. There's a difference. It was a brutal process and she barely made it out alive, literally. She was just 23 years old when she went under the knife back in 2010 and she came out of the surgery with completely different facial features and body features, which I guess is the point. So here is a list of what she had done. A mini brow lift, Botox in the forehead and frown area, a nose job revision, a chin reduction, fat injections in the cheeks, nasal labial folds, and lips, neck liposuction, ears pinned back, a breast augmentation revision, increased to a size F, liposuction on the waist, hips and inner and outer thighs, and buttock augmentation. I deserve an award for saying all of that. Her surgery made news headlines for being the most a person got done at one time. She had surgery done a few years prior, so she wasn't new to it, but nothing would prepare her for the recovery pain and backlash from this. During an interview with People Magazine, she was asked why she did it all at once, and she replied, that's kind of my personal personality, everything at once, and I just really wanted to go under anesthesia once instead of going under again and again. It felt safer to me, unfortunately it was anything but safe. 
Turns out her heart actually stopped for a minute and she was technically dead on the operation table. Heidi continued to say that the risk wasn't worth it and said she is done. I quote, risking my own life for vanity. She does regret her decision and calls it a huge mistake, but says it forced her to grow as a person. She hasn't had any surgery done ever since, but her transformation is still very shocking. In spot number three is Donatella Versace, the Italian fashion designer and current vice president of the Versace Group and also its chief designer. The Versace company stakes are divided between herself, her daughter Allegra, and her brother Santo Versace. The total value of the company is $1.7 billion. So needless to say, her company is a successful one. She is currently 64 years old and has never really been known for having the most natural style. As time has gone on, along with the design of her handbags, her appearance has changed also, and not in a very subtle way. Just looking at her, you would think she's gone under the knife way too many times, and you wouldn't even believe that her before picture is actually her. But she continues to deny that she has had any plastic surgery done. In 2013, during an interview with Sunday's Vogue Festival, she said, I'm not genetically like this. I use tons of cream and take care of my hair and skin. Listen, this is not freaking hair cream. She went on to admit that she has had Botox done on her face, but denies that she had any other work done besides that. The fashion designer explains that it takes a lot to get her well-crafted look, which is probably true, but there is no way I can believe she hasn't had any work done. No way. This is not cream. Coming in hot at number two is Rodrigo Alves, but likes to go by the name Human Kendall because he literally looks just like one. A lot of young boys dream of growing up to look like their favorite superhero, but for this UK celebrity Big Brother star, his obsession was to always look like a plastic doll. His obsession went further than anyone could have ever imagined, spending a total of $883,000 on surgeries. His surgeries include hair transplant, Botox, face fillers, pec implants, fake six pack implants, multiple nose jobs, a liposuction to his jaw, fillers in his arms, half shaping, butt lift, facelift, and rib removal. Four ribs in total. In January of 2018, he told The Sun Online that he was done with plastic surgery and was content with his final look. People are shocked when they see him, but even more shocked when they see his before picture. He says he now wants to focus on building his own brand. He said, I quote, I now want to focus on building my brand with my style, fashion, personality, and lifestyle. That's what I want to be known for. Taking the number one spot on our list is Christian Bale. The actor completely transformed his body into a walking skeleton, basically. And no, I am not being dramatic for once. I'm not exaggerating. He had a huge transformation for his role in The Machinist. Thriller drama came out in 2004 and followed the story of a man named Trevor Resnick who suffers from severe insomnia and psychological issues that lead to an accident. The accident ultimately leads him into a downward spiral of paranoia and delusion. In order to portray the character the way he wanted, Bill shed 62 pounds before filming. We're used to seeing people shed or gain some weight for a movie role, but this was extreme. While doing an interview with The Guardian, Bill explained that it wasn't the problem process of losing the weight that was hard, but the effect it had on him physically and emotionally. He said he was so skinny he could barely walk up a flight of stairs. He admitted that he felt like he completely abandoned his body. It was a roller coaster ride once he started adding food back into his stomach properly because it basically completely rejected it. He said the best thing he could do for himself was remind him that it's not what he actually looked like. He basically removed himself from his character and said during an interview, I quote, it's helpful not to look like yourself. If I look in the mirror and go, ah, that doesn't look like me, that's helpful. He was able to recover and bulk up in time for his role as Batman and Batman Begins. Well, this is our list for today. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments and show me some love by hitting that thumbs up button. I'm going to end today's video by responding to some of your comments. Colin Featherston says, how could anyone give you a thumbs down? I guess haters gonna hate. Well, I might not be everyone's cup of tea, but like you said, haters gonna hate. Miranda Clark says, yes, I do believe in ghosts since I was a little girl. I have always believed that there are things that cannot be explained. I totally agree. I have had something happen twice, like two different things that I still cannot explain. Adrian Hernandez says, Joss is the best. I watch all of her vids. Wait, is that a new ring on the left finger? No, I am not engaged. I just like wearing rings on both my hands. So I'm engaged to myself. Rob Prue says, where would these celebrities be without their fans? Not in Hollywood, that's for sure. Honestly, celebrities who don't like their fans need to find a new line of work. All right, we are at the end here. Don't forget to subscribe and ring that bell before you go. And if you want to keep watching more beyond the screen videos, just stay on this screen and you can click the icon. It will be somewhere right over here. It is that easy peasy lemon squeezy. I am your Joss and I will see you next time.